welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya if you're new here. Um, I have not picked up to vlog all day. I was just not really in the mood to like vlog a ton. But I just got up from a nap with my daughter. She did not really nap. We kind of just more so laid there until I kind of just like laid there and she never really fell asleep. So now we're back up and yeah, that's about it. That's what I've done so far today. I don't even have much to do today. It's just a uh, Monday at home, if you will. I'm eating some... Do you guys like these popcorners, white cheddar? I think they're so good. I'm craving chips. Those are perfect. They crave my craving. They curb my craving. Anyway. I don't know what we're going to do. I have to go pick up Gabriel, my son, in just a little bit, so... I think we're just going to chill until I'm bended today. I need to edit and upload yesterday's vlogmas. Sorry I'm eating. I also just need to get some cleaning done, so chill day. But yeah, I will update you guys in a bit. Hi guys, I just got back from picking up my son from school and I got a book package, my favorite kind of package. So I thought I'd open it with you guys. And then I'm gonna go outside with the kids and talk about the book that I'm literally 90% of the way through. So, I hear a car. Okay, we're good. Anyway. Oh, I love when there's little, like, thank you. So, if you don't know, I buy, like, 90% of my books from Pango. Pango is an app where people can sell used books and you can purchase them for super discounted prices so I got both of these for $12 which is like amazing because both of these have been high on my like want to buy list and I just haven't wanted to pay full price so I saw them on Pingo from the same seller and usually when you buy them from the same seller um, it's cheaper because shipping and things so I just decided to go ahead and do it so I got both of these for $12 so I got Shady Hollow which is like a cozy murder mystery and the characters are woodland creatures which sounds amazing and then there's like tons of books in this series so I'm excited to get into that and then the last one is the September House which is like a thriller horror type book it says a woman's determined to stay in her dream home even after it becomes haunted a haunted nightmare in a compulsively readable twisty layered de debut novel and I've heard I've heard nothing but good things about this book and it's still like full price on Amazon and stuff so when I saw it for like three bucks I was like I have to get it so I paid like 350 for both of these and the shipping ended up being like $12 which is so good so anyways I just thought I would share because I love Pingo it's like my favorite thing to ever happen to my bank account <laughs> I'm sitting in a disgusting chair right now outside watching my kids play and I have leftover mascara all over my face but yeah this chair is really gross but we went to the parade um Saturday night and took our like what do you call those like camping chairs and I left them in Zach's car so I'm sitting in this like Adirondack chair that's like a hundred years old anyways my kids are playing and be very being very loud but I wanted to talk about my little book that I'm reading right now, which is The Last Session by Julia Bartz. I read, what? Wow, good job! I read The Writing Retreat last year and it was like one of my favorite books of the year. Also, please excuse my acne and scars. It's horrible. Favorite books of all time. So I decided to um, request this as an arc on Neck Alley and I got approved for it and I was screaming. But anyways, why is this like one of the best books I've read? why why is it i don't know what it is with julie bards but her writing really just like intrigues me it captivates me whenever i'm reading it's so good um this book is basically about a cult uh, my kids are being insane today but anyways this book is basically about a cult and it's about this girl dia who gets like dragged into this cult because she's following a famous person who she met as a patient in the um, like psych ward that she worked in and she basically is following this girl because she thinks that this girl left clues on where to find her and the story gets so insane 
when she enters that cult. I'm 90% of the way through and the cult just did something so shocking. Oh my god, a bug. God, I can't stand Florida. It was literally like 30 degrees yesterday and now it's like 80 and the bugs are out. What? Anyways, um, what was I saying? I don't know, but this is so good. I'm gonna sit out here and finish it while these kids act crazy and get this energy out. It's supposed to rain, so I need to let them get their energy out. And after that, I need to go inside and start editing the vlog mess that needs to go up. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just changed into a t-shirt because it's freaking so hot. Ugh. Okay, hi guys. It's been a hot minute since I last filmed, but I've had a horrible headache. My daughter had to get down for her nap. I had to do the dishes, and now here I am about to make dinner. Thankfully, dinner is super quick, and it's a one pan dinner, so it's not going to make like a ton of a mess, which I love, because I still have some cleaning to get done. Like, I need to mop this kitchen so bad. It's very, very bad, so... Thankfully, it's a quick dinner, but I thought I would share with you guys because it's pretty calorie friendly and also, um... Oh, yeah.